What's up everybody, Trinity here and welcome back to the Second Street Marvel. Today I am in my local comic book shop, Bases Cards and Comics, right here in Lancaster, California to bring you guys this comic book review. And in today's review, I'm going to be talking about Family Tree issue number three. This book is being published by Image Comics. Um, it's being written by Jeff Lemire and the rest of these people. I have no clue what they're doing because they didn't really list that in here. I guess they just don't really care about it or maybe I'm expected to know that Phil Hester, maybe he did the pencils, maybe Eric Gapster did the inks, and then maybe Ryan Cody did the colors. I don't know because I do know for sure that Steve Wands is for sure a letterer and I will show you guys those names uh, right there at the beginning of the book so you can uh, see see those so I don't really know all I do know is about this story I've been reading it this is issue number three uh, kind of it, it starts off like uh, issue number one is like it's telling it starts off like we're getting into like a post-apocalyptic kind of thing here but what we get here is we rewind in the story in issue number one to this family uh loretta who her kid her kid uh, uh josh had just gotten in trouble in school uh her her daughter uh whose name is megan is kind of having some issues of her own here and that's where things start to go a little bit weird um she notices that her daughter is <laughs> has this kind of issue where she's oh you know like she's just turning into a tree <laughs> yeah I, I don't know just some weird stuff so um her daughter's having this this issue she's getting ready to take her to the doctor and as she's heading to the doctor's office this was all in issue number one uh she's heading to the doctors they're there getting some gas in their in their car and they end up getting kind of ambushed by some people who are ending up trying to like kidnap uh her daughter and they have no real clue what's going on and then in steps their uh loretta's uh father-in-law uh his name is judd and he kind of stops these people from uh taking off with uh, Megan and you know pretty much after that they've been on the run as her daughter is more and more it started off as like uh, I believe like an itch on her arm where you know and then her arm started turning into the tree and next thing you know she has a limb growing out of her back just some really weird stuff going on here guys I, I I'll admit I don't I don't understand what's going on here yet but the story has been pretty good and in this issue we find that uh, Megan uh, she she first awakes in this like in this dreamlike state uh, wandering around kind of she don't really know what's uh, she don't really know what's going on here and she's being called you know somebody's calling her and it ends up you know she ends up running into her father who has been missing for some time and nobody really it seems like they don't really know what happened to him the mother seems to be pretty upset about everything don't really again stuff we haven't really been fully filled in on throughout this story yet so far so she's she's wandering through this place being called by her father and she's like hey she notices like a lot of familiar faces like people that she seems to know but doesn't really quite know or know how she knows i don't know really 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 crazy but uh we we see here as they are they are on the road uh with their with their grandfather judd who is taking him to a friend of his somebody who is uh apparently in the know and knows uh kind of what's going on uh with with megan and this this kind of condition that obviously seems to run in the family hence family tree i uh, get it I don't know. I, anyway, um, but yeah, so uh, there's just weird things going on here. Like they're, they're going into the house. They run into this guy who's asking for some change, you know, just just, just like some bum there. And um, all of a sudden we see that this bum actually has something to do with um, it looks like these other faction of people who are probably obviously the ones who are out after Megan to uh, find out to take her and do whatever they're wanting to do with her. Just like I said, some weird kind of supernatural things. I don't even know if it's supernatural, just weird things uh, happening in this book. All I know is I think this is just going to be a little five issue miniseries. I could be wrong there, but so far here for, through the first three issues, it's been pretty good. It's been building up. I like the, the art in this book. It's pretty pretty simple, pretty clean, um, pretty basic stuff. I mean, nothing too complicated, but that's okay because when it comes when it comes down to a comic book, you know, like, I don't know, let me know how you guys feel about that. Like, if I've got a great story, that's what I really want is a great story, and I'm willing to give some on the art. And the art isn't bad here. It actually, I think it helps tell the story here if you ask me, but... Um, Again, it's not like high polished, all kinds of colors and all that kinds of stuff. It's just got, I don't know, it's got that really uh, kind of dark, kind of gritty feel to it. And I got to say, I like it. This uh, Family Tree has been a pretty good series. So uh, let me know down in the comments below. Have you read Family Tree? Have you been keeping up with it? If so, have you read issue number three? If you're, like I said, into these kind of like a 
dystopian, <laughs> not even di not a dystopian type, like a post-apocalyptic kind of future where things are kind of going weird. I don't know. You might want to check this one out. Again, it's on Image Comics, and you know, Image Comics is, has, has a reputation for putting out some pretty good books. But that's all I have for this video today, folks. Thank you all so much for tuning into the Second Street Marvel. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, click the little bell, and you know, all that good stuff. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. It's all good. I don't take it personal. But while you're at it, make sure that you share it with a friend and invite them to come hang out with us here on the Second Street Marvel. You all have a very good day. Have a great rest of your week. Get out and support your local comic book shop, and we'll see you in the next video. Later.